Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Monster High unboxing. Today we have a couple of different things. We have, first and foremost, we have the Monster High Ghoulmobile, which looks really awesome. It's in a great box. I think this is better than the last Monster High car that we got, but not as good as the Dracula Sweet 1600 car that we had, which I believe was the first Monster High vehicle that was released, if I'm not mistaken. But it looks really good, because I think the other, the one that I have, I think, is from the, the Scarist line, which is okay, but it's not great. And then, of course, in the back, we have our three main heroines from the Budget Doll line, which is our Ghoul's Day Out series. Now, if you'll notice, these outfits look pretty similar to what they were wearing in their deluxe dolls, but not quite as put together. So we're going to take a look at all of these and see how well they go together. Now I picked up the Ghoulmobile from Amazon for $33, which isn't horrible, it's not great but it's not bad. It's about where you'd expect a doll car to be priced initially. I'm sure this will go down to like 25 eventually, um, depending on the scarcity. But with the way things have been selling out with Monster High, I did not want to get sold out of this car because it looked really cute. So I was willing to pay the full price for it. Because there's a lot of detail that goes into this car, surprisingly. It does not have any electronics features, though. But that's okay. Oh, sorry. My allergies have been acting up like crazy. And then I picked up the uh, Ghoul's Day Out from Kohl's, of all places. Now, the budget lines are not going to be available at Walmart. They're not going to be available at Target or Amazon. The Ghoul's Day Out series are going to be available at smaller retailers or non-toy specific retailers. They have been showing up at like the Macy's Toys R Us. I found mine at Kohl's. Other people have found theirs at like grocery stores and places like that, like CVS and Walgreens. These are going to be the dolls that you see in the non-specific retailers that don't get all of the toys. And they retail for $17.99, which doesn't seem like it's budget doll, but the fact is they still have all of their articulation and they still have really good clothes. They just don't have the pets and they don't have a couple of extra accessories. So make that what you will. I actually got mine at Kohl's as part of the Black Friday sale to where I was able to get buy one, get one 50% off. And of course there's only three. I didn't buy any extras. I probably should have to just bring my price down, but there's none of these that I needed super extras of. So Draculaura and um, Claudine wound up costing me, I think, like $17.20 each because they were actually marked down on top of the buy one, get one 50% off. And then Frankie only wound up costing me like $8.59. So definitely a budget doll price for that. So I was here for it. And honestly, I think the only reason I didn't buy extras was because there were so low stock and I didn't want to be that person. So, we are going to unbox these and take a close look at everything. So, let's take a closer look at our UPC for our Google Mobile. That's right there. Of course, it tells you like little stickers and everything and where they're supposed to go. Down here, kind of like we're used to getting with the Barbie cars. Um, so I'm going to open these. I don't 
love when they're taped and glued, but it's okay. I feel like they do it mainly to make sure that stuff doesn't get opened and returned quite as often, but we're going to take a look at this out of its plastic. So there is our ghoul mobile out of its plastic. Very cool looking. As you can see, it's got like a holographic mirrored trunk, or not trunk, uh, hood. I think, yes, there are some little like screws here on the bottom. These are used by toy manufacturers now in lieu of really big zip ties, which I'm okay with that. I don't mind these things. They're not a huge source of plastic waste because they're big. I'd rather have big things that can be actively recycled compared to the little, uh, the little like staples that wind up getting stuck in vacuum cleaners. So it comes off very easily from there and it looks good. I think. Like, that's where we're at. It looks good from both sides. Um, we're going to take our little insert out. So, we'll take this off. This is our trunk cover. So it's not too bad. And then we just pop that back on the pegs. We'll see. Just one second. There we go. So it does have like a Corvette kind of opening at the back. And that winds up actually being our back seat with like a little, um, uh, whatchamacallit, like cooler that we get right here. That's where that goes. And then of course we have a couple of drinks, which I don't, it seems a little weird because they're like in high school to give them like my ties and things, but there's actually cup holders on the sides and we get a really big bottle of like poison right there and uh, another one so two matching ones so that's great for our coffin bean here is our little pet like foxy I don't know what its name is gonna be but it can just like sit in there or it sits right back on that thing so it's very cool. And then we can put all of this stuff back under there. I think it will fit. Yes, so it does close with all that stuff in there. So that's good. And then we've just got to put our stickers on to really make it work. So I think first and foremost, I'm gonna put the little like GPS sticker on because that's the one that's like staring me in the face right now like right there yeah there we go so that's how that goes on now we got to put some stickers there and our license plate i kind of wish they had come up with a better license plate like spook e or something like that It's very cute. And then we've got our little red lights, or brake lights, otherwise known as. Right 
there. <sighs> and then. My big fat fingers. Uh, my whatchamacallits stickers are always a challenge so and these actually have a cutout to let you know which direction things are supposed to go so that's really nice so you don't wind up with like your lights that are pointed different directions I appreciate that for people like me that are bad at stickers. And then that is what the front looks like. I appreciate these, these are hard plastic, not stickers or paint. So that's awesome. Okay. And then we've got our little fox. And there she is, she looks really good. I'm here for it. And it was relatively easy to assemble. The only thing you had to do was put the stickers on, which is not bad for cars. Like the seat belts are already in there. Same way we've been doing like doll seat belts since the 60s, just little notches in the back. And it looks really cute, I think. Like, I'm here for it. So let's see what some of these dolls look like. So let's do Frankie first, since they were the cheapest. So Kohl's apparently does the same thing that Toys R Us does, and they cover up the UPC. That's the actual UPC. So unfortunately, that's not gonna be much help for anybody. I could try taking this off, but most of the time, these stickers don't like to come off in one batch, but I will try for you guys. Okay, so there is the UPC for Frankie. Here's what the back of their box looks like. We've just got some basic art. There's no like animated art back here. Uh, it says a monster type. She's a voltageous Franken monster, and her monster pet is Watsy. Now, there's no Watsy in this pack, unfortunately. But you're also not spending 25 on this one. You're only spending, you know, 18. So there they are, right there look pretty good. Um, I feel like they might have the same face as our pretty close to this one from the creepover party, but still a little different. Slightly different lip shades, slightly different eyeshadow, and definitely different face or definitely different hair and earrings. But they still look good. This is our fourth version of Frankie that we've gotten so far because there is the original uh, there is the uh, the ghoul spirit there is the creep over that we just saw and this is the fourth so let's take a look at what makes this one special because all of these dolls are special in their own ways You have a different purse similar to the one that we got in the coffin break the coffee break one but it's a little different 
there's lots of little staples that are holding their hair in place, unfortunately. not on a roll with these staples today. But we'll get there. Okay. So that's what they look like. Here's their earrings. They're very cool, transparent bolts. Um, again, no neck bolts or anything, but a very cool little um, little outfit. I'm kind of digging these little uh, lightning bolt charms that we get on the back of their shoes this time, which are really cool. Like I actually like these shoes better than I like the ones that we got for the deluxe doll because they match and I'm pretty big on symmetry but we got another one of those obnoxious rings that we get sometimes with dolls because dolls don't have fingers that they can individually slide on so they look like these big like brass knuckles um, but it's very cool and then we also have a full shirt under there like a like a crop top shirt so this is not one piece, so that's nice. I was a little worried this was going to be a one piece dress. And then we can just pop that belt back on, which is connected to the necklace. Which just pops out like that. And just folds back under there. So aside from the little like ring thing, I think this looks awesome. It's the same body type we've been used to with Frankie so far. Um, the same detailing on the leg. I do love the shoes this time around. We've got a slice of pizza. I think this is a repeat piece, but that's okay because I have a big size pizza for this creepover dolls. So it'd be nice to be able to pose um, things with them. And then we have a Zip Zip caffeinated beverage. So that's fun. It could go with our little uh, coffin bean crew. But it's very fun. So that's where she is, or they are, sorry. I am trying to be better about the pronouns. Um, so next up, we've got our main protagonist this time around, Claudine. She does come with her glasses. She's got different earrings than we've seen before, so that's nice. Uh, she's got a belt, two necklaces, two pieces of food, and then a purse that we haven't seen before. So we are going to take a look at it. I'm going to try to get the sticker off again. Um, but forgive me if it tears. I am not the one who put these stupid stickers on. That would be Kohl's. But again, it was $17.99 at Kohl's. Okay. There you go right there. That's the UPC for Claudine Ghoul's Day Out. She is a Clossum werewolf slash human, and her monster pet is Crescent. And we do have two different versions of Crescent already. Maybe three, I can't remember. Uh, and here she is outside of her box. Very pretty. We're going to <sighs> trim some of this plastic up and see what all she's got going on. And I'm going to say it off the bat, her hair looks like it's in better shape than the deluxe doll. Just 
FYI. I don't know if that's because it's less curly or if it's just because of the way they boxed this doll. Here's the purse that we've got. It's only colored on one side, which is unfortunate, but it's still cute. It could be a little hard to have that being held by a doll though. Um, but we're gonna get our doll out. So here she is. Claudine is a little shorter than the other two. And as you can see, we have a full shirt under there. These are separate pieces, as you can see. So she's got two shirts on. So I think I would take her undershirt off to kind of differentiate her outfit a little bit from her deluxe doll outfit and just give her like the Phases of the Moon t-shirt or tank top, whatever it is. Again, we've got our glasses that are attached up there. They have a staple that's attached to them. I'm actually going to leave them for her because I don't want to mess with that right at the moment. And we've got some more staples that I'm about to take out later. But her hair on this one actually looks a lot better than the deluxe dolls, surprisingly, because they try to make the deluxe dolls curlier. And curly hair does not hold up well in these boxes that they do. Here are her shoes, very fun. A little different from what we got with the deluxe doll, which is good. We've got some intentionally frayed edges here on the shorts. Um, but there is a line of stitching that goes around them that's not just colored. So hopefully that stops the fraying from ever getting too frayed. But she looks awesome. Let's take a look at her accessories. So we've got Moon Chips, Harvest Moon Cheddar. Very fun. And there's an actual back to it, so that's great. And she's got like a moon pie cookie thing that's taken a bite out of. So that's fun, and that's all she comes with. Like, there's not a ton that these dolls come with other than their outfits, which Claudine has got, let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces of like fashion and accessory. So not bad, you know, assuming these dolls, their body, just the body and just the doll is probably kind of come out to at least 10. So you get $7, so about a dollar a piece for your clothes and accessories. So it's not bad. Um, and then we have our last Ghoul's Day Out, which is Miss Draculaura. She looks really cute. I think I actually like this outfit better than her deluxe doll outfit. I definitely like her shoes better. I think her backpack is the same, but I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look and see. But... I'm not quite sure if her backpack is the same or not. The uh, But this is pretty close to the bag that we got with the um with the deluxe doll that's a series 1 repro but not the reproductions. Gosh, I forgot the name of the line, but that's where she is. So she's a fantastic vampire. Her monster pet is Count Fabulous. We're going to try to take this off without causing too much chaos. Pretty close. Hopefully you guys can get it from there. Again, I'm not the one that put these on there. Um, but, let's take a look at her without the package. Without this extra plastic getting in the way. So, there she is. 
She looks really good. She's got a sideways glance, so that's good. She's got some actual stockings under there. She's got a moo, like strawberry milk, plus some sunblock, so that's great. She's got one heart and a bat wing, and she's got her headband. So yeah, I think she looks better than the deluxe doll. Because the deluxe doll, you get like a cape, and it's just, it, eh, it kind of eh. It's kind of a mid-tier, um, mid-tier, like, random accessory to give you. I'm going to try to get everything out. So here is our backpack. It does open a little bit, so you can, you know, put things in there. Kind of. It's very cute. we got everything already but let me double check no, okay. so I'm going to take her off I kind of wish she came with the hat I don't think we're gonna get her hat until the Sculptimate Secrets line comes out but she looks very cute she does have her little like bat heart necklace on there her hair is very bleh. Like, I want to suck your bleh. I don't know. It needs a little bit of refreshing, I think. I'm going to hit it just with a quick fail fix brush just to see if that makes it a little bit better. Because sometimes it's just like they get oily in the box. And that makes it a little bit better. It feels better, at least. But this is a full shirt underneath, two pieces, with a little skirt that is uh, Velcro, not, uh, not elastic. So unfortunately, that's not going to work for everybody. Her socks are full socks, so that's good. Her little shoes are awesome. It really wouldn't take much to make these look like... Um, to look like designer shoes like you could pretty easily paint in the details if that's what you wanted to do like that's a five minute project I think if you just paint in the black on some of these things and she's got little hearts taken out so I think she looks awesome there's a close-up on her earrings her headband is super cute on her Again, I'm not going to take off the staples because I want to leave that styled the way it is. And let's take a look at the rest of our stuff. So we've got our little strawberry moo that is printed on three out of four sides, so that's pretty good. And then our little sunblock with our SPF 500. The screening is just a little off on this, and I wish there was something on the back, but it's a pretty good mold, like pretty decent mold for that. So let's see how well they sit in the car. So Frankie's got the longest legs. So they're going to drive. So they fit pretty decently. The, um, the seat belt, of course, is going to go just like around. And you're supposed to like put the arm through. that but so they do fit and actually just for shits and giggles <clears throat> I'm gonna put one of my customs so this is a clawed I think like a monster prom or something that I got a random head and I put this on Bo's body from uh, She-Ra Princess of Power because it's the same body type as the new Deuce Gorgon. 
So we put our Manster in there. And he does fit. He's a little tighter in the legs. Like it fought me just a little bit to put him in there. But, you know, he fits. So I'm not really complaining about that. And then let's see how well the other two sit in the back. So we've got our cute little thing back there. And unfortunately, they all have a lot of hair. So they can just kind of like barely like chill on their hair. It's a little tight if they want to like foot like put their knees up. It's definitely designed for them to not worry about where their feet are going. Kind of like this. But it does fit like that. But again, that's not designed to be like rolling around with them in it because they're going to slide out. Just the, fri the friction from the bottom of their shoes. But that's how they sit back there. Nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm glad that I got all three of these. I do kind of wish we got budget dolls for all of the main dolls. But I get why they just gave us Claudine... Draculaura and Frankie because they are our main three that are in the show right now but Laguna I feel like is kind of gearing up to be our next part of the main crew so there they are they look good again this is not an official boy doll this is an old head with a uh, with a bow body from She-Ra the Netflix series, but he's the same size as the Deuce Gorgons. So, very cute. Um, I don't really love the little like ice chest feature here at the back. I would have rather that have been like a, um, like a, like a closet kind of thing like they did with the, um, with the Barbie extra car. I feel like would have been kind of fun. But everything does fit in that back compartment closed. So, not too bad. But yeah, it's a very cute little, uh, it's a very cute car. It is a little high priced for what it is, which is essentially just a car. Like at $32, I kind of wish they'd included some electronics, but it's all right. They gave us a pet. And he's an exclusive pet. Like, he's a ghost fox. He's very cute. Um, so, I mean, this really is up to you whether or not you think it's worth it at this price. The budget dolls are going to be about as cheap as you get right now. Um... Unless you can find the Ghoul Spirit for 60 which I've seen some people on Instagram, their Walmarts, are getting the uh, Ghoul Spirit 6-pack already down to 60 So keep an eye out for that if you've seen them in stores. Always check your prices on your phone. Because that is a great deal because you get six dolls for $60. Which is a really good deal. So, you know. Definitely. Or is it now? five dolls or six dolls because it's deuce it's frankie it's claudine it's draculaura it's cleo and torlai yeah six dolls so that's actually the cheapest you'll get these dolls right now if you can get that for 60 because that'll you know be ten dollars a doll like if i saw that deal i'd buy three of them probably because yeah <laughs> that's worth it just for like the cheerleading outfits so, if you guys have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed any of this, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. I think this is going to be it until the Skultimate Secrets. 
I don't know when those are going to officially come out. Hopefully we'll start seeing them pop up in the stores here in December. But other than that, I have Claudine's Boutique on pre-order through Amazon. So fingers crossed that ships out sometime before the end of the year. Because that'll be our second, no, our third furniture pack. So that should be fun. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, it's been a blast. Be good, y'all. Bye.